recipe and this is what you need to know about catatonia and autism. We're talking about strategies to be helpful to individuals with catatonia and autism. One thing that's helpful for these individuals is to have a pretty healthy level of activity built into their day. And you can do that through including rhythm in activities, through uh, in including repetitive movements, to including activities such as walking, dancing, clapping, jumping as part of their day. And when they're some, there's something about movement that encourages movement. So when they're able to, to stay in a movement kind of activity, then they're less likely to sink into a stuck phase of catatonia. Another thing to do is if you watch the catatonia wax and wane during the course of the day, which it will, then put the most um, expectations, the greatest interactions with them during the time where the catatonia has backed off a little, where it's lifted. And that's a time where they're going to be able to be less frustrated and be able to be more successful in any goal-directed activity.